Do you know what it is to aim high? We're going to talk about that, that on, on this, this episode of 5, five minutes, minutes with, with Dad. Pavlos and Dad. Welcome to 5 Minutes with Dad, starring Pavlos and Angela Pavlidis, where you get to spend a few minutes with the smartest and coolest kids in the whole world and their dad, too. And now, here are your hosts, Pavlos, Angela, and Nick Pavlidis. Ooh, hey! Ready for an awesome episode hey. of 5 Minutes with Pavlos! Me! What am I, a bag of chips? I'm ready for a fun episode with who? Pavlos. And who? Angela! Yes. Wait, Pavlos. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Pavlos, hold on. Angela, hold and on. Pavlos. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, Angela, Angela's going to push some buttons. Five minutes with Dad! <laughs> Wait, no, 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 hold yes. on. Yes! Oh, there's Angela. Yep. Angela. All right. So we got a special treat today. We We're going to talk about aiming high. And we have a pretty interesting story from our real life that Angela doesn't know I'm about to bring up to talk about aiming high. And we're going to talk with Pavlos about it a little bit. And we're going to talk about it with Angela. But I'm going to share some quotes to think about aiming high. But first... We'll talk about what? So it's been a while since we've been on there. We haven't recorded since August. And we had a run up yeah. to school. We had a whole bunch of stuff going on. And then we just took it easy a little bit because we've been getting used to the new school schedule, huh? Pavlos is in a new school and Angela is well, in. He's not really in a new. Well, yeah, he got to go a little bit. But then last year he, um, well, you know, with the virtual learning, he's yeah, got a new experience this year. Yeah. yeah. So Angela now in the fifth grade, she's topping out at her school and there was just a whole bunch of stuff. You have more homework than, than last year. Hi, huh, Ange. A little bit. Sort of. Sort of. Yeah. All right. So, but we're back. We're back. And why are we back? Because Angela and I started thinking about Angela wasn't taking good care of her little phone that we let her use were you Ange? you can say it were you <laughs> and so angela wasn't taking good care of her her little phone that we let her use so she broke it right Ange? It just has line through the screen, not like cracks. But you can't use it. You can't even unlock it. You can't push the buttons to unlock it. Only on the parts that have line. I understand, but one of those numbers is critical to you unlocking it. I know. (laughs) So you can't unlock it. So uh, Angela had to buy her own phone to replace it. Right, Ange? I'm happy. Yes. So Angela had to buy her- so close. She's so close. So she thought, oh my goodness, what if we started recording episodes again? Because first of all, we like recording episodes, don't yeah. we, Ange? But second of all, Angela started thinking. She started, um, she looked at, aren't you happy you had some money in your savings envelope, Ange? Yes. Yes. Oh, that was Pavlos. That was Pavlos talking for me, I guess. But do you agree with him? Maybe. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. That's Angela. That's Pavlos. That's Pavlos. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So Angela, aren't you glad? And you had some spending money that you didn't spend. So when we save up our, when we make money, Ange, what do we do with it? Tell everyone what we do with it. We put, 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 put um, some in. Giving. Saving. Some yeah. in. Saving. Some in. Investing and some in. Spending. Yes. So um, Angela had money in four envelopes. One for each of them. And I said to Angela, since you broke the phone, I'm not buying you a new one, right? Yes. And you went and got all four of your envelopes, didn't you? Mm Mm-hmm. And what did I say about the giving envelope and the investing envelope? Those aren't those aren't really for um like For this, right? Yeah. So Yeah. But give like And you knew that. You just went and grabbed all four and brought them over. Yeah, but um the Saving one, like saving up for something big that I really want. I really wanted like that new phone. A new phone, yeah. Well, it turns out now that if you don't need a phone, but if you want a phone, you have savings for some of it, right? And I also have spending. And you had some spending money, but you're still a little bit short. So but you I'm, get to- I'm less than half. Yep. So now you, and then I ordered the phone, but you're not getting it until you get all the money, right? 
I'm probably going to get it before it comes. So. I hope so. We're going to record some podcasts and you're going to, you can do some extra things for your mom to help out, but whatever you make, it doesn't go straight towards the phone. You got to divide it into what? Giving. Yep. Saving. Yep. Spending. And in investing. Yeah. Yeah. So we had to aim pretty high this week when you broke your phone, didn't you? Have you yeah. ever had to save up? Have you ever had to come up with money like that as fast as possible, Ange? Oh, she's trying to find the buzzer. There it is. The purple one. Yeah? <laughs> no, she doesn't want it. So we're going to talk about aiming high. I'm going to share some quotes. And Angela had to aim real high this week because she had to figure out how to earn enough money to be able to give, uh, invest, and then have saving and spending money to be able to make up the difference to get her phone. Now, fortunately, we got a really, really good deal on the phone. Yeah. But. So I don't. Yeah, so I she doesn't have to go as far. Well. Unfortunately, I, I said fortunately. I oh. said fortunately. Yeah. So, Pablo, <laughs> when you talk, we need you to talk right into the microphone if you want to hear it. So, anyhow, all that to say, we have had quite a week here at the Pavlidis household, and we got oh. Halloween coming up. This is gonna be the last yeah. episode before before Halloween. before Halloween. Yeah, because Halloween's this Sunday. Yeah. So yeah. everybody. We, we've had a whole bunch of stuff happen. So we didn't record an episode in September, Ange. What happened in September towards the beginning? School kind of started up. Her yeah. Birthday. And your birthday. Thank you, Pavlos. Yeah. Angela turned how many years old? One. Double digits. Two. Three. Are you one? Are you two? two? Are, are you three? three? Are, are you four? four? Are, are you five? five? Are, are you six? six? Are you seven? seven? Are, are you eight? eight? Are, are you nine? 19? Are you ten? Are you 11? Uh, are you 12? Uh, are, are you 13? Are, are you 14? Angela! Yes! <laughs> Angela turned 14. 10 years old. My no, goodness. 14. We have a double 14, digit no. girl in our house. We got no more single digit people in this house, do we? Well, Just a hamster. No, we do. We got baby Ange. We got Ange. Ange made a face, cutout face in art class. That was cool, huh? Not art class. Yeah. Cool class. So, um, for when the parents came in, we got, we got rulers. We, so, we made our own heads. This is in. It's like a like, self-portrait class, like class. Oh, class. cool! I, I, and we took rulers. Yeah. You can see the dent. Oh yeah. And we taped them on there, and then we taped it on the head. Oh. You don't have to make a neck, but I feel like it would be easier to do a head neck. Yeah, not a head. necks are good for heads. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then that, it looks weird off of without the hoodie because there's random lines on the head. And yeah. The, but that's okay. But um, I also took a mask because I'm not that good at drawing noses and mouths. Yeah, so she took advantage of the fact that they make them wear masks in class and she put a yeah. mask over her thing so she didn't have to draw a nose and mouth. Yeah, but thankfully, <laughs> thankfully, <laughs> thankfully, I had um, a an extra, extra mask. mask, yes. And then. Yep, and you got nice eyeballs that you glue on there. That's that cool. That I can see out of. And beautiful hair. Yep. All right, Ange. So, happy birthday to Ange. Yes. And Pavlos. And Pavlo. Wait. Pavlos, your birthday's not till. Pavlos, we were around for your birthday. We celebrated your birthday on Five Minutes with Dad. Yeah. So we got a special Angela Halloween. My birthday was no. the end of September. Hello. Thanks. Hello, Angela, we're going to say. Not thanks. Wait, what about. Halloween. What about mom and yours? Mom's birthday. Dad's birthday. Angela's birthday. And Papa's Halloween. Birthday. We're, so we're recording this on Papa's it. birthday. Happy birthday, Papa. Yep. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Papa. Papa. Um, yeah, so we had yeah. a good time over the last few months and now we're back and I think, I think we're going to be back recording every single week. We're traveling a little yeah. bit, so we'll see what happens when we're traveling. We're traveling in November, but maybe we'll record a couple episodes. So we'll have a few in the we're can. Traveling. So I think this week and then we're going to skip like the next two weeks. Well, we can record episodes. Oh, yeah. But we won't them. be around Just, on some Sundays. Like yeah. We're not going to record them those weeks. Yeah, so. yeah. All right. So let's chat now about the resource of the week sandwich. Ooh, yeah. Resource of the week sandwich. Me. Wait, but before that, Pavlos wants to say one thing. All right, Pavlos. What do you want to say? I'm Pavlos. That's true. That's true. <laughs> no one can say that's not true. All right. So. First joke of the week. He also wants to say one more thing. <laughs> Happy birthday, Papa. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, Ange, do you want to do the first I joke of the week do or do the... you want to do the knock knock? Can I do the resource? Sure. Okay. Angela, say the first joke of the week. What do birds give out on Halloween? 
Uh, what do birds give out on Halloween? I don't know. What do birds give out on Halloween? Go ahead. He wants to push the button. They give out. Come on, Ann. Tweets. Tweets. Yay! Round of applause. Hey yo. This button is this. This button, the rim shot. Listen. But Pavlos wanted to give you a round of applause. Hey yo. <laughs> Pavlos likes the rim shot, right? <laughs> yeah. All right. So Pavlos, Pavlos is a bit rusty. He hasn't been up here. Doesn't Angela knows where all the buttons are? Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. Pavlos, just so you know, see how it has like this stuff and the buttons and the colors crickets like game show buzz know. it a pause yeah, yeah. Spring shot <laughs> okay so we're doing something different for the resource of the week the resource, this is wait, the hold first on. time hold on, hold yeah on, this hold is on, the first on. time that we He's have a video game we have a video Who's game. ready for the resource of the week? We don't. Awesome. I'm ready for the resource of the week. So we don't We do not do a lot of video games. Some, Pavlos plays some. Yeah. I like to play with real people in real life, right? Of yeah. course you do. Yes. Yeah. So there's a game that we've been playing as a family for a little while that helps us engage with each other as a family. And it also gives you exercise. And yeah, we go walking around with it. We driving. go driving around. Driving's not really much exercise, but we... Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is for the driver. Yeah, I work out my right foot and my left foot. <laughs> In your <laughs> hands, my, my turning. arms turning the wheel, yeah. <laughs> your eyes for seeing. Yeah. yeah. We work out our... Uh, we, we work out our relaxing muscles. <laughs> yeah. All right, so, Pavlos, why don't you tell everybody what video game that we've had a lot of fun <laughs> playing together? <laughs> Pokemon Go. Yeah, Pokemon Go. We walk around, we catch Pokemon, we trade Pokemon. I get robbed all the time by Pavlos and Angela. Yeah. No, mostly Pavlos. Mostly Pavlos. I only did once. I trade them all my good Pokemon. Right? Mostly Pavlos. Yeah, mostly Pavlos. Lot, lot, lots of Pavlos. Yeah, so for me, in order for a video game to be something that I like to talk about or I like to do, it needs to be something that brings the family together as opposed to someone else playing, a, one person grabbing a video game and going in the other room and playing by themselves or something like that. So... The resource of the week, if you want to find a, something that combines video game play with family time. Go to the App Store. Yeah, Pokemon Go. Pretty good. Pretty good stuff. All right, so Pavlos, um, do you want to do the knock-knock joke or do you want me to do the knock-knock joke? I'll do the knock-knock joke. Okay. And I'll also decide how funny it is for myself. You'll decide how funny it is? Okay, go ahead. Knock-knock. Who's there? Ben. Ben who? Ben knocking on... Been knocking all morning. Let me in. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. It must have been the delivery. Okay. <laughs> hey. -o. All right. So, Pavlos, I'm going to read one, two, three, four quotes. And I want you to think about what they suggest you should be doing when you are trying stuff. Okay. The first one's by a guy named Richard Branson. Sir Richard Branson. Sir Richard Branson's a business person. And he says, if you aim higher than you expect, you could reach higher than you dreamed. Try hard. Yeah. And, and try to do big things, right? Don't just try to do little things. Um, and what about this one? It's better to aim high and miss than to aim low and hit. That's by Les To Brown. try. Yeah. If you aim high, yeah. even when you miss... You still now, end up doing Angela. Stuff. All right, Angela, you're gonna you're swapping in for the last two quotes. I have one. Hold on. I have. Why isn't this mic working? It is. You have to tighten that uh, hand in there. It's working. This. Yeah, tighten it to the right so that way it doesn't pop out, and then you can lift it up. Switch. But it's working. Hello. Yep. Testing. Test. I don't hear. It, it's your headphones. Oh, no. It's probably your headphones. It's, uh... Just change the volume. Thing. <coughs> one difficult. Difficult. Wait, what's it? Difficult. I don't know. All right. So, Ange. difficulties. Oh, technical difficulties. <laughs> technical difficulties here. But, Ange, we can by. hear you just fine. Look, you can see it all here coming through. I know. Now I hear myself. Okay. And all of them. And are. we're back. Well, we too were loud, always too here. loud. Too loud. Too loud. Too <laughs> loud. But now Angela's uh, headphones are back, and her headphones are back, <laughs> and alive. Yep. All right. So, okay. Bef what about this one? Can we move on? I. Wait, no. Before we move on, I got one joke. Okay. What you knock, got? Knock. Who's there? Halloween. Halloween who? Wait, no. Hold on. Knock, knock. Who's there? Ben. Ben who? Ben 
waiting all night or morning or afternoon or whatever you want to say to do Halloween trick or treating. You kind of just did that joke. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of just did that joke, Angela. Yeah, but it's just knock I'm knock. Who's there? Ben. Ben. Who? Been waiting for candy all morning. That's yeah. what you want to say for Halloween? Eh, no, hold on. All day. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Ive. Ivan. Ivan who? I've been waiting all morning. <laughs> now let me trick or treat and let's have some fun. Yeah. Hey, why did I just change my tone? I was like, let's have yeah. some fun. Let's have some fun. All right, and so here we go. What do you think this means? Aim for the moon. If you miss, you may hit a star. I think it means, like, the aim for the moon, like, means aim for your goal. Like a big goal, right? Yeah, and then it says if you miss, it may, like, if it missed, you may hit a star. Like, if you miss something to do with it, you might, like, um, what's it called? Like, you might... It's probably harder to get that big goal. Yeah, if you hit a hard, if you miss a hard goal, like let's say you wanted to make 12 basketball shots in a row. Like say Pavlos wanted to make no, 12. No, 57,000. 57,000. And if he misses after 10, he's still got 10 in a row. So you still achieve something good if you aim big and fail at the bigness, the big thing. All right. Yeah. Yeah. You should, yeah. But um, if you miss, kind of like if you miss a shot. Yeah, that's right. And you so, can still instead of doing it like the moon, aim for the basketball net, <laughs> and you'll if you miss, you'll hit a ground. Well, it's all yes. Yeah, <laughs> all right. So the next one is aim for the moon, but in your way there, don't forget to dance with the stars and shine as bright as the sun. That's by Talisha Haradat. Now, what does that mean? That's a little different. That means do you want me? Do you want me to tell you? Or you want to talk through it? One moment, please. Oh, it looks like Pavel's is gone. <laughs> All right, one moment, Ant. please. What do you think that one means, Pavlos? So, Pavlos, here's the quote: "Aim for the moon, but in your way there, don't forget to dance with the stars and shine as bright as the sun." Have fun doing it. Yes, I. You nailed it, Pavlos. Okay, so no, it means have fun doing it. Uh, hold on a second. Didn't you just say what I said? She did. Yeah. I'm trying to fix this headphone. Tra- technical difficulties. Please stand by. Ding, Five ding, 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 hold on, we should have ding, that. Ding, 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 Hey, all right. And, and we're back. And we're back. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, we're, I'm Bubbles, back. Bubbles, we have weird. a button for that. And we're no, back. We're back. <laughs> no, we have a pa- and no, we're, we're back. back. Pavlos, that's what it says. And I'm we're back. No, we're back. It press literally it, says it. Pavlos. Press it. I got the headphone up to him. Press it. Press I it. I know. I'm joking. And we're back. <laughs> no, we're back. It says <laughs> where? And we're back. All right. Back. He's messing with you, Ange. He's messing with us. All right. So. We get here now. I'm gonna read. I'm gonna talk about these th- these four quotes. Okay, ready? This one says, "If you aim higher than you expect, you could reach higher than you dream." That means you know what? Sometimes you might not know everything that you have in you. Challenge yourself. Well, remember when I did that Spartan race and it, and I and I'd never done more than the five miler, and I ended up doing the eight miler. Can I guess and what that it? means? And I completed it. Yep. And then it's better to aim high and miss than to aim low and hit. That probably means it's better to like maybe be nicer. Try for big things. Yeah, well, and there, Angela, yeah, it has, so almost, like it's, it's really more nicer to yourself. It's because better to probably help people in, like, wait. So here it is, ready? It's better to aim high and miss than to aim low and hit. It's probably better to aim high probably means, like, to, um... What do you think the only way to find out what your 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 fullest potential is? To try little things or to try big things? Maybe to try little things and then move up. Well, you can move up and up and up, yeah. But if you spent your whole life just doing little things, will you ever achieve your full potential? No, not really. Yeah, so, some, it. so it says aim for bigger things because you, sometimes you don't even know how much potential you have in you. Um. And then the other one is aim for the moon. If you miss, you hate, may hit a star. That means good things happen, even if you miss on a big goal, because you might end up hitting something else that's really cool. Like, um, 
The Statue of Liberty. There have example. been a lot of a lot of inventions that happened by mistake. Did you know that? There was. Yeah. Like a computer. No, that was very intentional. Okay, good. But so there's a so like here's an example: healing? fifteen life changing inventions that were created by mistake. The Slinky. The Slinky. Did Wait, you know how? that? He was trying to make a meter designed to monitor power on naval battleships. What? Yes. So I'm just reading from this Business Insider article. How it was created. Huh? Jones was working with tension springs when one of them fell to the ground. The spring kept bouncing from place to place after it hit the ground and the slinky was born. born. So he was aiming high, trying to, oh, to, to make a meter to monitor power Lemuria. on battleships. And he missed because he dropped it. And it turned into a slinky. To be and continued. So that was the to be continued. Right? All right, Angela, you'll like this next one. Chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> Chocolate chip cookies were what? made by mistake. Shh. Okay, and did you know chocolate chip cookies are the most popular cookie in Massachusetts? Yes. Yes. Okay, so oh. Ruth Wakefield, but owner of the sugar. Toll House Inn, was trying to make regular chocolate cookies. Why? While mixing a back batch of cookies, Wakefield discovered she was out of Baker's chocolate. As a substitute, she broke sweetened chocolate into small pieces and added them to the cookie dough. She expected the chocolate to melt, making chocolate cookies. But the little bits stuck. In the chocolate chip. Potato chips! Potato chips were made by mistake. Inventor George Crumb, a chef at the Carrie Moon he Lake House in Saratoga. Fried Swim. potatoes! He wanted to make a plate of fried potatoes. One day, a Bug. customer sent back his plate of potatoes many times and kept asking them to be more fried and thinner. Crumb lost his temper, sliced the potatoes insanely thin, and fried them until they were hard as a rock. To the chef's surprise, the customer loved them and wanted more. So, this quote here. Aim for the uh, aim for the moon. If you miss, you may hit a star. All of these people were aiming more? for something different. Sure, the pacemaker. What's a pace? Oh, that's to help now people's hearts. Silly putty. What? He well, was. I want to know what he was trying okay, to make. Okay, so he's an engineer, General Electric. He was trying to make um, rubber Dirt. airplane tires, boots for soldiers, and other things like that. Wright was trying to make a rubber substitute out of silicon since it was a widely available material. But during a test on silicon oil, Wright added silicon? boric acid to oh. the substance. The result was a gooey mess that bounced. Although no one could find any real use for it, it became a fun toy. Microwave, Microwave ovens. ovens? I want to know what this was supposed to be. Okay. It was supposed to be a vacuum tube? What's a... <laughs> Well, huh? let's see. Per Percy Spencer, an engineer with the Raytheon Corporation, was trying was conducting a radar-related research product with a new vacuum tube. He realized that the candy bar in his pocket began to melt during his experiments. He then put popcorn into the machine, and when it started to pop, he knew he had a revolutionary device on his hands. That's why he called it the microwave? I, I don't know why he called it a microwave. Huh? Saccharin, an artificial sweetener, fire Fireworks! <laughs> Yes, an unknown cook in China. According to legend, the cook was simply experimenting in the kitchen. What was he trying to make? A cook accidentally mixed together charcoal, sulfur, and saltpeter, a common kitchen items 2,000 years ago, when the mixture was compressed in a bamboo tube. Why the cook did that? They have no idea. It exploded. Uh. Isn't that cool? Let's see if there's something else. Cornflakes. Um. He was trying to make a pot of boiled grain. The brothers... Kellogg brothers, John and Will, accidentally left a pot of boiled grain on the stove for several days. The mixture turned moldy, but the product that emerged was dry and thick. Through experimentation, they eliminated the mold part and created cornflakes. What if cotton candy was now born? I mean, <laughs> created by mistake. Post-it notes were by mistake? Sticky notes, basically. Yep. While working away, Spencer Silver, a researcher in 3M Laboratories, was, was trying to make a strong adhesive. Uh -huh. He created an adhesive that was actually weaker than what already existed. It stuck to objects, but could be pulled off easily without leaving a mark. Years later, a colleague spread the substance on little pieces of paper to mark his place in his choir hymn book. The idea was born. Wait, what was that other thing? X-rays. Wilhelm Rogen, an eccentric physicist, oh, was wait, interested oh. in investigating the properties of cathodic ray tubes. When shining a light through the tubes, he noted fluorescent papers in his lab were illuminated, even though his machine had an opaque color cover. Yep. 
We so see more. We can see more, but not on this episode because this is already going to be 35 minutes with dad. And it's supposed to be five, but yes. let's, let me see. Let me see. Let, let me see. see. Let me I see. can tell you it's 25, 25 minutes. minutes and 10 25. Seconds. Who's ready for an awesome episode of 25, 25 minutes, minutes with dad? dad? No. And Pavlos. <laughs> and Pavlos. We know. Let's restart that. Who's, who's ready, ready for, for an awesome episode, episode of 25, 25, 25 minutes with Pavlos? And dad. Oh, Mind wrong. blown. Wrong thing, wrong thing. Wrong. Oh. And you wanted to press me. He's so lovable. Oh, he's so lovable. He's so lovable. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Let's go back to my Happy birthday. birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Dale Angela. Happy birthday to you. It's my birthday, yeah. Here, listen to this, Pavlos. Listen to this. Ready? And, Pav- and listen to this drop, Pavlos. Ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Dale Angela. Happy birthday to you. It was on. Yes. And happy you- birthday to me. Happy birthday to Pavlos. Six- oh, he's no. he's uh, 12 and a half, almost. Te- All right. Technical difficulties, please stand by. Ding, 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 all right, so we so we've gone, we've zigged, we've zagged, we've talked yes, about everything since this have, new episode. Have, yes, but we have. I forgot we had that happy birthday Angela drop. So Angela, you just had baby Ange singing you Ange Wait, happy birthday. This? Go ahead. I'm Pavlo. So Pavlo, you're gonna Hello. like this. Come here real quick. Hey, let me give him my headphones so yours doesn't break. All right, you go. now you already did it. It's fine. That's fine. That's okay. I'm Pavlo. Hello. I'm Pavlo. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> that was me saying it, though. Yes, I, he knows that. Wait a second. Wait a minute. Hold all on. Right, so, Ange. Yeah, I'm done. Nice. Um, all right. So, it, the only way to to do your best work in life and to achieve bigger things than you ever want, dream possible, is to aim bigger, to try things that are more than you think you can do. Now, of course, when you're a kid, you want to make sure that you have your parents there you have some, or a teacher or something like that to make sure you're doing things safely. But as you grow up and as you get older, even kids, adults, everybody has more inside them than they believe. So it's even if you miss, you can, maybe and you'll invent high. the next slinky or chocolate chip cookies. Maybe you'll invent the next X-ray. micro piece of paper. Microwave, microwave. the next post it. Yes. No, the next, no, this would be cool. Go ahead. A micro piece of paper. So all you have to do is say, pretend I wanted to write five minutes with who's ready for an awesome episode. Of five minutes right with dad. Us. Knock, knock. Who's there? Ben, blah, 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 blah. All I have to do is say, hey, paper. Um, oh. Type this. Blah, 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 blah. And it writes it on a physical piece of paper. Mm-hmm. A magic piece of paper. All right. So well, aim kind of high. Like electronic. But Try still. harder. You got so much in you. And don't forget to have fun along the way. Mm-hmm. So, guys, mm-hmm. I think this was a pretty cool first episode back. What do you think? Yeah. Yes. But All wait, right. we forgot to do something. What did we do? Let me just no. quickly. Uh-oh. I just need to quickly go into something. Angela's got to go into something. Go ahead. And we're back to another. Um, to an, to, uh, thank you for listening. No, it's a thank you for listening. We play this. No, I go. did. Um, Don't forget. Check out Pokemon Go. That's our resource of the week. Yeah. Thank you for listening to 5 Minutes with Dad. To connect with Pablos, Angela, and Nick, subscribe to the 5 Minutes with Dad newsletter at 5minuteswithdad.com. Thank you for listening.